topic for today is about regression analysis. So in this uh, discussion, uh, I will assist you in understanding the slope and y-intercept of regression line, which will be composed of a calculation and interpretation of the slope and y-intercept of a regression line. After going through this discussion, you are expected to be able to calculate and interpret the slope and y-intercept of the regression line. So to achieve the objective of this module, you need to understand its content comprehensively and uh, of course follow some instruction provided in different activities. In the previous lesson, you learned uh, that when we study variable relationship, we first need to collect our data and use correlation to determine if linear regression exists. We need to understand that correlation analysis is the process of finding how well the line fits the observation such that it all observation lie exactly on the line of best fit. The correlation is considered to be perfect one or unity. The correlation coefficient, as what we discussed last time, or the persons are product moment correlation coefficient, it is a numerical measure of the linear relationship between two variables usually labeled X and Y. So while in regression, the emphasis is on predicting one variable from the other. In correlation, the emphasis is on the degree to which a linear model may describe the relationship between the two variables. The regression line is also called, called as the line of best fit. No? So, its significance is an endly, uh, enabling us to interpret data trends and help us in making predictions based on the data, on that data. The latter which is to be discussed later. So again, please take note that in doing regression, you first need to consider the following assumptions. There exists a relationship between the variables and relationship is tested to be significant. The stated conditions are necessary to be first met, otherwise doing a regression analysis would be totally pointless. A scatter plot. No? It is a way of illustrating a line of best fit. The, the figure shows a scatter plot of a data of two variables. As you've noticed that several lines can be drawn on the graph near the points. With this, you should be able to draw the line of best fit. Best fit means that the sum of the squares of the vertical distances from each point to the line is at a minimum. So based on what we have here, we have the predictive value and of course the observed value. The equation of a regression line. Going back in our algebra concept, an equation of line is given by where stand for the slope and B for the y-intercept. Similar, an equation of a regression line is between y sub 1 is equal to A plus Bx where B is the slope and A is the y-intercept. So furthermore, the concept or the corresponding formulas for the y-intercept and the slope are as follows as what we have here. So this will be the corresponding formula. Okay, so given the data below, Find the equation of the regression line and provide an interpretation of the result. So as what we have here, we have a student A, B, C, D, and F. Okay, so A to F. 
number of hours of uh, number of study hours uh, from 2 to 15 and final grade in mathematics we have 79 to 93 so solution the values needed for solving the equation are as follows so n is equal to 6 y6 that is a that is 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 the total number of hours or summation of x that is 45. So, if we're going to add this one up to 15, that is 45. Summation of y, that is final grade 79 up to 93, that is 517. If we are going to multiply no, the x and y, so 2 multiplied by 79, that is 158. 3 multiplied by uh, 83, that is uh, 495. 5 times 85, that is 4, 2, 5, uh, 9 times 88, eight, that is 7, ano, and so on. Up to 15 times 90, that is 1, 3, 5, 9, 5. Then if we're going to add no, the 152 up to 1395, one, the total is 3998. So therefore, this will be our summation of x sub y. If we're going to x square the x, no, this will be the x. So, 2 times 2, that is 4. 3 times 2, that is uh, 3 squared, that is 9. 5 squared, or 5 times 7, that is 25. 9 times 9, that is 81. 11 times 11, that is 121. 15 times 15, or 15 squared, that is 225. And then, if we're going to add from 4 to 225, the summation of x squared is 4, 6, 5. That's what we have here. Now, okay, so direct substitution. So, summation of y, that is 517. Summation of x squared, that is 565. Uh, minus summation of x, that is 45. Summation of xy, that is 3998. Over, our n is 6, right? Uh, summation of x squared is 465. Summation of x squared, that is 45 squared. So, if we're going to multiply this one, 517 times 465, that is 24045. If we're going to multiply the 45, multiply by 3998, that is 1799910. <clears throat> then, if we're going to multiply 6, uh, six na, multiply by 465, that is 279. Then, if uh, 45, multiply by 45, that is 2025. Okay, so if we're going to deduct, no, subtract these two values, we can get 6. 0, 4, 9, 5. And we're going to subtract these two numbers, we can get 7, 6, 5. So, therefore, if we're going to multi or to divide 60,495 divide six, uh, 7, 6, 5, we can get 79.08. <coughs> that is for A. Now, if we're going to get the V, you know, based on the given example, no, uh, solving the slope B, we can get 0.945. Same, no? Direct substitution, then we multiply, then subtract, then divide. So, hence, the equation of the regression line y is equal to a plus bx is y is equal to 79.078 plus 0.945x, where the slope is 0.9945 and then y-intercept is 79.078. The y-intercept is the value you can get when x is equal to 0, that is, it is the value at the sum point where the line intersects the, the, the y-axis. <clears throat> so, based on the given interpretation, no, the marginal uh, change is the magnitude of the change in one variable when the other variable changes exactly one unit. So, in the given problem, the value of the slope, which is 0.945, is the mag marginal change. So, this means that for every change in the value of y, which is the grade, also change at 0.945 unit on the average. Similarly, the value of the y-intercept A is 79.078. This means that the grade of the student would be 79.078 if he or she has zero hours of study. Okay, so 
this time we are going to assist you in understanding the concept of regression analysis which be composed of the following lessons. Predictions of the value of the different variable given the value of the independent variable. And solving problems involving regression analysis. So, we expect no, that you will be able to predict the value of the different variable given the value of the independent variable and you can solve problem involving regression analysis. So, now, this time, you will be learning on how to use the equation of regression line to make prediction on the value of dependent variable. Prediction or shall I say estimation of the value of the dependent variable in which the value of the independent variable is not present in your data given the circumstances that you have found. So, here is the example. And we have a student A to E, number of hours and the score. So, we have, have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 students. So, they have their equivalent number of hours and a score out of 100 items. So, before we may proceed with our initial computation, we must remember that in making regression analysis, the data must be correlated and that the correlation must be significant. So, like what we did in the previous discussion, we first need to solve the necessary values in finding the slope and the y-intercept. So, we have n is equal to 5. Then, as what we did a while ago, we need to get first the summation of x. So, therefore, we add 5 to 13, that is 44, and this is the summation of x. For summation of y, how do we get 448? So, we just simply add 83 to 96, that is 448. XY, you just simply multiply 5, multiply by 83, that is 415. 7, multiply by 87, 609, and so on. Up to 13, multiply by 96, that is 1248. For us to get the X squared, no? so 5, multiply by 5, because 5, 5 squared is 25. 7 squared, that is 49, up to 13 squared, that is 169. And if we're going to add 25 to 169, we can get 428. So therefore, our summation of x squared is 428. Then after that, solving for the y-intercept, a, we can get the uh, a is equal to 75.667. And solving the slope b, same uh, formula as what we did earlier. So, we can get slope B is equal to 1.583. Hence, the equation of the regression line Y is equal to A plus BX is Y is equal to 75.667 plus 1.583. X where the slope is 1.583 and then Y intercept is 75.667. So, the interpretation that the regression line equation or slope B is 1.583, which means that for every change in the value of X, which is the number of study hours, the value of Y, which is the score, also changes at 1.583 unit on the average. Similarly, the value of the Y-intercept A is 75.667. This means that the score of a student would be 75.667 if he or she has zero hours of study. Now, so, since uh, our main objective is to predict the value of y where the value of x is 14, we will now use our new pound equation. We will replace x with 14. So, as what we have here, our y-intercept is 75.67 plus 1583x. 
So, replacing x and 14, then of course, 75.6 uh, rewrite. Then if we're going to multiply this one, we can get 22.64. So, therefore, our y is 97.825. Hence, if a student study hours is 14, his or her expected score in the math exam would be 97.829. So, the data shows the ages of student X in a certain school. And the corresponding number of them having smartphones Y, find the equation of the regression line and predict the number of students with smartphones with the age of 20. So, consider the variables to be correlated and that the correlation is significant. So, we have age 13 to 19 and number of uh, students with smartphone is 19 up to 49. So, that this will be your assignment, okay? So, our references, of course, is from Rick's Box Store, Phoenix, no, Publishing House, and we have a lot of uh, URL address. And, of course, thank you for, uh, thank you, the Department of Education in the Philippines for having this type of module. Thank you, and I think that uh, this time you could able to compute the regression analysis. God bless.